Residential Appraisal Report Writing and Case Studies. Chapter 1, Appraising versus Reporting. Page 29, Income Approach. The third approach to value is the income approach. The principle of anticipation is at work with this approach to value. In other words, the value of the property is based upon the present value of future benefits of property ownership. Most buyers do not purchase a property with the intent that they are going to lose money when they eventually sell it. The basis of the income approach is the relationship between the income that a property is capable of producing and the current value of the property. If a given property produces more income than another similar property, the one producing more income is deemed to have more value. For non-residential properties, a capitalization method is employed using a market derived income stream and the ERV formula, which means income divided by rate equals value, to arrive at an indicated value by the income approach. For valuing small residential properties by the income approach, a gross rent multiplier, GRM, analysis is often used, employing the VIM formula. Value equals income multiplied by a multiplier. This process entails the extraction of a gross rent multiplier. GRM from the market along with an estimate of market rent for the property. Once the market rent and GRM have been extracted from the market, similar multiplication will produce an indication of value by the income approach. End of page. Page 30. Reconciliation. Once the appropriate approaches to value have been considered and developed, we move to the next step in the appraisal process. The reconciliation of those indicated values derived from the three approaches to value. This is the final step in the development of the appraiser's value opinion. Reporting is the final step in the overall appraisal process. The reconciliation process involves the appraiser's competence and knowledge of the subject market area. You must take into consideration such things as supply and demand for similar properties in the neighborhood competition in the neighborhood. Competition, substitution, quality of the data, quantity of the data, and the appropriateness of the data gathered and analyzed. Which approach or approaches are most appropriate for the property being appraised? Which approach or approaches are the most reliable because good data was available? All of these factors are considered in relation to the intended use and conditions of the appraisal. Reconciliation is not a mechanical process. The appraiser should never simply average the value indications from the approaches to value into an opinion of value. Instead, the appraiser should carefully consider the applicability and suitability of the approaches used and the quality and quantity of data that was available for use within the approaches. End of page. Page 31. Reporting the appraisal. The final step in the overall appraisal process is reporting the appraisal. 
up until this point, the appraisal process has been about developing the appraisal to arrive at a credible opinion of value for the subject property. This is the last step in the appraisal process involves communicating the results of that development, including support for the analysis and conclusions that led you to that final opinion of value. The report should state clearly just what was required of the appraiser, what the appraiser did and how he or she did it, how much research was necessary for the assignment, what data was used, and if any of the approaches were excluded from the analysis process, an explanation of these reasons. Competency, independence, impartiality, and objectivity are the key terms that guide the appraiser throughout the appraisal development and reporting processes. End of page.